I just want to talk about the I do any questions and answers so go ahead and ask I need to answer a bunch of questions but a lot of it is also about how in the total it was said the Korean needs to lose weight in order for us to uh, get married and stuff you know well it's it's not that way I never like shame his body or anything like that uh, yeah, it is cold in Ecuador, Thai. A little bit. I mean, it's like 75 or something, but it gets me cold. Anyways, I just want to say the... Uh, Manda? Okay. Me and Corey have been together for five years, right? So at some point in our relationships, like sex is really important and feeling attracted to the other person it's really important. Everybody has a type and has likes that they have, right? So to me, I never really have felt that much attraction for guys that are a little bit bigger. But everybody has their type. I'm not shaming anybody. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. So me and Corey, you know, being together, it got to a point when, when I was like, not feeling that attracted. I'm just being completely honest in here. If you want to take it as me being a bully or me body shaming them, shaming him, like you're freaking wrong because I don't care how the body of any other person is. But if I'm having sex with this person, I want to feel completely attracted. Okay. Um, if you're in a in a in a a relationship, I feel like you should be able to be open and express these things. Like, he is not fat, he's not, and right now he looks way better, but... And, and he was just bringing out stuff that is from the past, because uh, he did got, like, I don't know, he got like 30 pounds extra or something like that. It, it was it was a lot, so I was like, you know what, like, you're super handsome and everything, but what about if we, like, join a gym together? Like, what about if we, like cut some beer like no like don't like some drink that beer or maybe we don't have to get that cake in the night or something like that that's just what I, I did and like he wouldn't get it so I said like you know what like I think that you will look better if you lose a little bit of weight but that's just me like I say if you want to see it as a bully it's not I see it as a couple having communication because if he doesn't like something he's totally fine to tell me because that's what a relationship is it's about expressing and feeling completely comfortable and and he agreed with it so he went and and has been working out with his sister she has really cool workouts check her out and yeah that's what we did you know that's just uh, what I am thinking I never ever ever meant to meant for him to feel bad but if I don't express what if I never express and he becomes 250 pounds and I, I literally cannot even hold him on top of me? That would be super, super bad. So yeah, it should just be open. I, it was all communication. The way that he brought it up was completely, um, sounded really bad. And in the, in the tell all, like, of course I'm like laughing here and there, but I was like just happy it was the last episode. and. Not everything you see, it's everything that you say. There's lots of stuff that gets cut down, and that's sad. Made me mad because I explained a few things and they are, they were not there. But yeah, that's just it. Okay, so if it's still fifty, I'm not. Look, listen, you are hypocritical. People is hypocritical critical if they think that what I'm saying is in some kind of way shaming him. Like I say, everybody has the right to pick the person they like. You go with a person because you like physically first. That's just how it is. If, if he has a sickness and, and, and gets really, really big for a reason, I'm not going to leave him because of that. But if somebody stops taking care of themselves, start putting too many beers in their body, too many sugar, like... It's, you know I like all about like healthy and and good food, so that's it. But he looks amazing. Have you seen him now? He looks way, 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 way better. So it's it's good for him. It's good for him for his own body. So
Oh so yeah, that's just it. No, he gained the weight before his dad. We started filming before the dad. All of that happened. So do not blame it on depression or anything like that. It's just, you know, we're getting older. Metabolism slowed down, but we live right in front of the beach. We have a really nice area to run and stuff. So, yeah. That's just it. So I'm going to read some comments. It's not shaming him. I'm not trying to shame him. I'm not, I'm not shaming Corey. Like I say, he looks amazing and he really is a good guy. And we all agree on that. I just am explaining you why was that comment about the losing weight. That was it. Yeah, dude, all of you guys talk about my teeth. Well, listen, not all of us have rich parents or pet treatment. So I'm going to get my money from this TV show and then I'll get it. And I'll take a real picture for all of you to see it. And then, of course, you're going to show up with something else. You're going to be too big or whatever. Like you will come out with something else because... That's what haters want to do. It's really rude, rude to be making fun of, of other people's experience. I never made fun of Corey. Something that I thought was important for a sexual life, as you said. So, yeah. You people, they understand. Yeah, Corey is amazing. We really are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, people make a lot. I want to compare what I said about her. Like I say, I think that what he and she did were extremely wrong. But there is more into the story. I just don't know. So if you think that I'm shaming her, I was shaming her. I don't care because. What I say is what I believe. I don't really want to talk about it, but a girl that is in the same industry working with you should have been like, hey, is it still together? Him first. I have the messages, all the screenshots of everything. Not everything she posted is true. So, so yeah, that's it. She's to be unhappy ever after because she doesn't have a partner that's why that people will never ever never ever be in my mouth anymore I don't want it yeah okay that means kind of oh yeah, a lot of people say because they say parents. You speak when you are. I, it wasn't my opportunity. Like you guys saw my background, how what has me where I am and where I'm going. Like nobody. So, so that's just it's just kind of rude. But came okay, my whole life, but like at least the jobs that I had was like enough to pay for my college and then for like stuff that I needed for my high school, my high school, my college. So when I was, uh, when I was 18, I got, I got like another big job and then I had that. So when I turned, was to college, I started doing the cocktails before I made Corey. I have this job, kids, and then the it was a, a non-profit organization, but they will pay me for doing this job. I was in charge of controlling, I like taking tools and stuff. Everything was amazing, but then I started the the bar. Not like it is right now. 
right now is my sister there. The restaurant. So I bought um, I took the class and then that was how I was living because I didn't have the other job and like I said so then I met Corey a few months later. But before that I had for two years. I was so in love. He never um uh, I I like him or his family would never think that I took advantage of him. Never, just like I never took her. Yes, he showed me on his stuff, blah blah blah. So then he, so I have the party. He's like, you know what? Why don't we invest a little and and, and we make it bigger? And that's what we, him and I. Uh, invested more money. I knew how to make all, all the drinks. I got all this stuff. And two thousand dollars. I they believe he's doing maths really, really wrong. But anyways, I this on my name because I needed to uh, meet in Corey because this part was before him. It's really, it's upsetting for me when people tell me. That's a Corey's bar because it's not. The forty thousand dollars that Corey is explaining, he they are all on his name. I don't own any, anything more than the bar. That's the only thing I own in um, because I started it and when Corey goes to the stage, like right now I'm the one who keeps it going. I'm the one that is in control of it. I'm the manager, I'm the bartender, I'm the server, I'm everything in this thing. And I love it. And I love it. And this is how we pay. And he doesn't send me more food. Whatever. Nothing. I take care of everything. It comes out of the work that I do. So, so yeah. Like, if for, for people saying that that's cool. For his bar, it's not like in any way. Because if one day it go wrong, don't go right, and he decides to do other things, then figure it out. Investment. Mm. It, it makes me upset because I I feel like uh, in your ego, and I'm gonna continue to have. more and more. They're going to be mine. When it comes, smile, and I'm also going to make it nicer. And like I say, 45 dollars went to his property. He already doubled the money. Up, so, yeah. Oh, why I didn't? I did. He had on it. The first, it's not my fault, oh, but they cut it because I say he invested his money here for my properties. So it's here. He can sell them tomorrow and double it. Then he had all the he put in the companies and stuff, and then he loves it. But that was all on him. All of him, not me, at the stock market. So, so that with him with the bar. Some of you understand. I know people will still keep annoying me. I know we're all in the show. I want to see it. And for the people that say that the 10 minutes of fame is over, maybe not. Watch it. So, yeah. He never like I don't have men giving me a thousand here and there. Like what the fuck are you saying? And then because well I met him. That was it. He wanted to date me. I didn't even want to have a relationship. He'll force me basically. Um but yeah I never really cared. You guys are really hypocritical because that's what you will never 
didn't even go with a server. And I didn't even know like what could it do for job or anything. I never cared. It, a person the way they are as a human being, instead of knowing what they do, what their last name is, if they went to college or not, like I don't care. So, yeah. But people that know me will know that, but uh, a lot of people don't know me. So, I know you guys have seen just a little bit of the show. It's pretty in there, but, but yeah. One cannot complain about that. Alicia, there you are. I love you, girl. Alicia is Corey's cousin. And she's been here two times now. And it's been amazing. Really amazing. Oh, Ali. I'm sick of the people body shaming me too. Like, honestly, yes, a lot of people don't know what a selfie is. I personally am like super self conscious on selfies because no matter how pretty I believe I look, when I start trying to take a selfie, I'm like, because you see the will, the contour and the makeup. And I feel like I've been the more raw possible I could have been for the show. Like, if you see that right now, because I just feel more empowered when I'm not covered with all that stuff. Hi, Nadia Devian. News. So yeah, I'm with anybody from. So it's ridiculous. People say that I'm with people from my town. They are like people, and they are so young and. And I don't want to be part of it. How close-minded people in my little town is. Like, I live in a small village. So it's not that I like, like white men only. It's that I like someone with an open mind. That's it. Thank you. So, yeah. That's just it. If you guys... If you girls want to follow Raul, go follow him. He is single. Um, he's a great, great guy. We know each other for so long. And, man, I believe I know him for like, I don't know, like 10 years. I don't even know. But, yeah. Or someone say, hope she doesn't want kids because it's a train wreck. Girl, I you, I'm pretty sure. And for the people that say that I cannot judge parenthood if I'm not ridiculous. The reason I don't want to be a parent is because I know how hard the job is. I know how much of responsibility it is. I am extremely responsible when it comes to that. I'm human and raising them well. It's just such a major job in life that I with a kid. I clearly been learning from other people's mistakes and like I say, I've been working with kids for a long, long time as a social service and stuff. So yeah. yeah. I'm honestly like tired of blocking people. <laughs> so can you guys stop being mean? I don't wanna like mean to be blocking people. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. Thank you for the people who understands for the People that don't, please try to open your mind. I have never but it's shame anybody from being sick. I believe on eating healthy it will be the way it needs to be as long as you put the right food inside, the right things inside. So, yeah, that's just it. And like I said, when he shows you that six pack, you're all, all gonna thank me. <laughs> stop talking about Larissa on my life like if you want to go to her live and or her Instagram and like talk, talk with her about things of her uh, I don't want to see her name on my stuff if I regret doing the show I mean um, I own it all the nice 
Jewish people in and stuff. So that's really good. But um, the way my, my my I I'm not stupid like the way my dignity was hurt the way and but that now the show's fall like uh, there is so much the core and I need to deal with that. But the way I am completely so so that's kinda of sad. But all I don't regret it till you yeah. believe I'm like the most normal person in all of the <laughs> things on the inside you know, that I am thinking and I, I see and I'm like oh my god like these people is crazier than you see them on the show Nicholas so that's funny um uh all the cast members we talk family, you know, to, to the set. I'm not taking advantage of anybody, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to get married on a TV show, I'm not going to do stuff just because I die. If I do something, it's because I mean it. Yeah. So everybody come visit when you can, 
it is kind of cloudy, but it's gonna get better. Well, I'm gonna go. I really hope you guys understood what I say. I really hope some of you at least. I never ever wanted to make um, feel. I just wanted us to feel that was just it. I'm sorry. Hey, Corey, there you are. You should tell them. Corey, you want to go live with me? Here. How do I do that? How can I invite you?